Hello, YouTube. It is your favorite burb on the interweb, a black sparrow. I should have done the video that I <laughs> that I recorded today. I should have started that way, but I was so like YouTube mode from my old. I was trying to. I was trying to do old YouTube habits. Y'all don't care about that. Anyway, it is your favorite burb on the interweb, a black sparrow. Here from WSPRW, uh, we're going to play some more crowns and pawns today. I'm very excited. I'm hoping maybe we can end the game today. That is the plan. Uh, whoops, I just realized that y'all can probably hear music. But that's neither here nor there. So there, music's gone. <laughs> It's stream beats, so we're not going to get copyrighted. It's okay. So, yeah. So, that's the plan. We're going to finish, hopefully finish Crowns and Pawns today. Uh, check out my uh, YouTube channel, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, you can, I mean, you'll, I mean, this will also be on YouTube, but, like, if you're watching this, uh, you can check it out today. You can also, uh, you know, follow me on TikTok. And also, I'm, I'm starting to upload content, and I'm feeling pretty good about it myself. So, like, I don't feel like I, I'm hating my life every time I'm like, cool, now I need to sit down and edit this. Uh, so, yeah, there's stuff. Come check it out. I'm really excited for you to check it out. And, like I said, crowns and pawns. So, I'll see y'all in just a moment. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, YouTube, we back. So, um, lights look edible. <laughs> there, okay. So, I'm I'm gonna waste I'm gonna waste everybody's time. So, there's like these lovely things that you can put on top of these lights here that make the bars black instead of white. And I'm like, I'm doing exactly what Mags is doing, the thinking emoji. I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe. I keep messing with them. I think I'm done with like getting more of them though because they are very expensive, but they're really cool. Okay, so uh, for those who don't know, um, basically I'm playing as this lovely lady named Milda and she inherited her grandfather's house when he passed away and the house is in Lithuania and she lives somewhere in Chicago. So uh, I flew to, to Lithuania. I met my friend Yoris there who absolutely 100% has a crush on me. Um, and then I broke it. I, I, I basically, I didn't break in. I came to the house to find out that someone else had broken into it. And um, from there, basically, you can see the this the this the screen here is what part of the house looked like and there was some creeper that was basically like yo give me the thing i want the thing if you don't give me the thing you will die um and then uh milda was like well i'm not okay uh sorry i got distracted because steph just like opened my door and then threw something in to bring blue in here and like now Blue is just like at my feet, but I'm not gonna pick her up because she doesn't like that. So like, I don't know what the purpose of that was. <laughs> Other than like now my, now Blue is in, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, so so like I was saying, uh, I've, I've gone to Belarus, I influenced a hockey game, um, and then I came back and now I'm in Italy because I found out that like, I was looking for my dad who's been missing and then it turns out that the person that I thought was my dad is uh is uh on it turns out to be my grandfather and we don't still don't know where my dad is. I'm going to disappear from the camera to to acquiesce to, to the wishes of of Mags. Hello Goober. Hello. Okay, the dog has been pet. You're welcome. You're welcome. I will not. I will not do. Uh, turn that down specifically. But yeah, one of these times I will um, not. Uh, sometimes soon, I will be hooking up another camera that I can like basically use to like uh, to to keep an eye on Blue, so to speak. So it'll be um, the 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 redeem to see Blue will be back soon. I just need to figure it out. So there's that. So yeah, so now basically this uh, this history professor that that helped me figure out some stuff uh, is holding me at gunpoint in a in a briefcase. He's got a, like a briefcase gun. There's a lot that I left out, but like the vod will be up, so you'll be able to you'll you'll be able to get get uh get caught up in all that good stuff. Um, okay, and there goes blue. So I'm gonna go shut my door now. <laughs>
because also <laughs> she gave her a squeaky toy. <laughs> You're meeting a prospective pup this weekend? Tell me more, Mags. I'm excited. Excited for you. Okay. I think I was being held at gunpoint, like I said. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Okay. Um, what if I... Yeet! He's big? Ooh, okay. Oops, sorry. Clicked away for a second. I fed two or more apples to the goat. Let's go! Getting... I'm gonna sneeze. Issue! Issue! Oh, baby, a triple. Thank you. 18-month Cane Corso mix. Alleged gentle giant, just my speed. Hey, love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I got an apple. Can I, can I? Uh. <laughs> These two are just standing there. Uh oh. Yeah, fill it with hydrogen, bud. You know, there used to be an Irish superstition that if you sneeze three times without something blessing you, you'd be stolen by the Fae. I mean, I'd be okay with that. Okay. <laughs> no. Um... Gave the goat another apple. No! Heck. Offended the fate never stole me, to be honest. Yeah, same. Uh, some people have been trying... Speaking of fae, some people uh, who will remain nameless have been trying to get me to... Um, become a dungeon master or DM and can I can I get the can I get the balloon Pfft, okay let's okay 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 let's see what do I have do I, can I use the shears? Can I use the... What do I... What should I use here? Ooh, wait. No, it's... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I got an idea. I got an idea. Um, I'll read that in just a second, Max. I just, I just had a brain blast. Um, You can see me DMing. I, do, I just... Ah, I'm, I love being a player, and being a DM sounds like it would stress me the heck out, which I get... And I feel like they just want someone else to share that with, if that makes sense. Yeah! <laughs> Land down the other one. Uh, can we pick? Well, all right, I guess I have to pick the yellow one. You know what I mean, Stephanie? A, a player for the for Dungeons and Dragons. Gosh, ridiculous. Ha ha. 
Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm. There's a lot going on. Okay, so two of them are correct. Nope. Okay. So that, and then maybe here? Nope. Let's go! That's a weird puzzle, but I'll take it. Gotta go get my grandpa. New, new. How? I'm speeding through the streets of Italy, and you say peace? <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, grandpa. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Uh, okay. Um. This is so stressful. Um. Yes. All right. Give me just a second. I need to, okay, I have a lot going on in my brain. Uh, okay. I need a second. I'm getting overwhelmed. All right. I need to go all the way back. All right. Uh, you can see me DMing. Mag said, I confronted him on it once, and he was like, oh, I was just thinking how cute your sneeze was. I guess I let it slide. <laughs> Makes sense. Just because you might be good at it doesn't mean you'd like it or that you'd have to do it. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, the funny thing is, is that I was like, oh, maybe I could see a scenario. Like, if I wrote my own module, maybe that would be interesting. And then Lamar was like, uh, my buddy Lamar was like, Oh, you just, you're going to be a DM. You just don't know it yet. And I was like, well, now I don't want to do it <laughs> because you told me. Uh, you don't think you'd hear the game audio? Thank you for saying something. Oh my gosh. I am so bad about that. I'm very, very sorry. Again, YouTube, I'm sorry. I'll be better. Um, but you'll hear it now uh, sooner. You need a lot of intrinsic motivation to be a DM, especially long term. So much work. You have to want to do it. Oh, no, I hate that. Um, I'm not I'm not offended. I'm not offended by it. I was just like it was just kind of like one of those moments where someone's going to was someone was like, "You must do it." And I was like, "Well, no, I don't want." <laughs> Cuz it was I was like actually thinking about it, but I was like, "Oh, man, like I just I just don't I I would need to practice on my own. And by on my own, I mean like offline games before I before I want to do it on online essentially." So, that's just how I feel about it. Um, I'm not necessarily like opposed to doing it. It's just like a, I, I would want to get my legs underneath me. I don't want to like just immediately jump into doing it on stream. So there's that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, cool. So I think I'm caught up. All right, can I? Yeah, let me go. Milda, drive closer. You need to take it from me. She's not going anywhere. Hand it over. All right, just wait for it and. Milda! Bruh. Oh, that was my chance, I think. Milda, drive closer. You need to take it. He from broke me. my She's accelerator. Hand it over. Okay. Milda. Okay. Let's. Come on, come on, sir. Milda, drive closer. Oh, hey. Let's go, baby. 
Now you can't get in front of me. <laughs> oh, that's so rude. Never mind. I lied. Okay. So I think there's there's more to this than... Okay, so I can't get in front of him because he'll just knock me out of the way. And then... Go, go left. And then left again. No, go left again! Go left! Okay. Ugh, I messed up again. <sighs> Milda! Take it, man. Let's go. Now, it's all in your hands. Oh, she's not going anywhere. Yes, she is. Good luck, kid. Golly. <laughs> hey, Marie, how you doing? Alive but heartbroken escaped after the scooter chase. My accelerator was broken though, I thought. Uh, Amelia, can I get a shout out for the Marie 93, please and thank you? That'd be great. Heart E words, use them. What's happening? in <laughs> I'm gonna say this one cause uh, yeah. So you showed Alfred the sketch. I drew you all mean with a hockey stick missing it too. That's so rude. Oh my God, I regret everything. How you doing, Marie? It's great to see you. I'm uh doing all right. Um, Amelia, it is exclamation point S-O and then Marie's username. So the Marie 93. Oh, it's okay. I'm speechless. Oop, hold on. I got it. That's on me. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I, I'll, I'll handle it. Thank you, though. Sorry for not teaching you and then asking you to do something. It's on me. I hope the good kind of speechless. I think I'm rediscovering the joys of experimenting. That's good. Going beyond my comfort zone. By the way, we did some research on the painting. Where are you at now? You're so, no, you're okay. You had a lot going on, so do not worry about it. Um... I'm gonna say I just got off a flight. Wait, did you meet your dad already? Nope, sure didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one because she's a, she's a dramatic bitch. <laughs> Grab onto your pants, my dead grandpa came back to life. Choices in video games make me happy. Yes, your grandpa's alive, mind balloon, what? weird uh so the cool thing about this game marie is that um the s things such as like the tattoo on my character were chosen via this kind of dialogue at the beginning of the game and including like my what job i had so it's, it's interesting that it like lets me kind of like essentially say the thing and then it becomes true um yeah we got ambushed by an ex-kgb agent it's very, very interesting, though. I'm not kidding you, Dana. That's the truth. What did you do? Uh, scooter chase? I don't know if that's spelled correctly, but... Yeah. How was your day, Marie? No, I'm... Dana, I'm not messing with you. That is what happened. <laughs> this is so stupid. Grandpa tells me, take the steel. And Thug be like, no way. And we basically fist fighting while driving. And then. Working together, we managed to get closer. And he passed the seal to me. Because I handed it to him in the first place. And then an explosion. That's a crazy story. And then the game was just like, all right, enough of that shenanigans. Wow. That's oh, a crazy I, apparently story. I told Yoris too. Then Grandpa looked at me profoundly and said, 
Good luck, kid. And crashed into the thug's bike, giving me time to escape. Holy macaronis. Uh, is is he okay? We don't no know. No idea. He doesn't reply to my messages. But knowing him, I bet he found his way out of it. That's <sighs> the hope, at least. Any news with the painting? Well, I did some research with Dana, but we didn't really want to mess with anything before you got back. So this is Yoris. Let's give her a call and see what we've got. We're pretty sure he has a crush on, on Milda. Try not to die, you're playing Diablo 4. Oh, that is okay. You are aces, big aces. Max, I'm excited about hey uh, your potential meet with this dog. Ready for work? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Dana, we're looking at the painting. Tell me what you got. My guess is it's an overpaint. As in there's another painting underneath? Well, yes, but not all of it. Oh, what interesting. It's only partially covered. At least, that's how it looks in some places. Okay. Uh -huh. So, how do we get to the real painting? Do you have an x-ray machine on you? Mm, we no. super right. don't. Right, so there's another option to remove some old coats of paint, but you will be basically ruining artwork. I'll be careful. Just, just tell me what to do. Okay, you need to find some acid, strong alcohol, and a clean cloth. I thought we were preparing to scrub some paint, not organizing a wild party. Oh my gosh. You knew it was going to be x ray. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me find something suitable. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what's acidic? Lemon juice, which is in the invisible ink. And this is what I've got for cloth. Hell yeah. Hey, Dana, do you think the invisible ink will work? It has alcohol and lemon juice in it. Uh, I guess it could. Right. So what do I do now? Pour a bit of the solution on the rag and then slowly start scrubbing the paint. It should turn into this kind of mushy rubber and then come off. Um, yeah, shouldn't we figure shouldn't out... Shouldn't we figure out what to scrub first? Oh, absolutely. We should discuss and understand the context first. That way we can keep the real parts intact. Right. right. Let's see. Um, I bet it's going to be... Yeah, let's look Any at the text first, because I feel like the text Itotis is... Itotis died in 1430, and he was 80 years old at the time. He doesn't look like he's 80 here. Yeah, right. the timeline seems ridiculous. Unless it was painted by Jan von Eyck or some other genius, the earliest time for such realism is the end of the 15th century. You're saying it's painted by a genius <laughs> painter? No, I'm saying it's fake. <laughs> so let's start with the text. It seems that might be the last wearer of the crown, then. And according to the message, the crown was left at a pagan temple. Interesting. Oh, so it's just in English. Okay, cool. I will be the last to carry this blessing and curse. Let the temple of the old gods guard this dangerous crown. Um, what about the robes? The clothes. I tried to do some style and design comparisons with contemporary works. I would bet they're from a later age than Vitotis' time, so my guess is that they might be legit. I'll be honest. Clothing styles, not my strong side. Yeah. No kidding. What about uh, this? What? She means that I'm the creative one and you're the smarts. Right. Oh. Fair. What about the seal? What about the seal? It's a seal of Vitotis. If it's not him in the painting, the seal is probably fake. No idea about this one. And the scepter? What's that in his hand? Uh... That would be a scepter. It yeah, looks... that one's common in medieval portraits throughout the period. Is it? Okay. It's a symbol of power. It's like showing off your new yacht in a social media picture. <laughs> I mean, it shows his status, but otherwise, it doesn't mean much. Okay. Um, pagan temple, that's incredibly sp in specific. Can you maybe, like, name which temple? Who was it devoted to? Was it multiple? We have a couple of options. Um, and then... What, what do you okay. think about the face? Well, I've seen pictures of Vitotis in later works. That is how he's often portrayed. But from what I know, all those are from imagination, not something hmm. authentic. It's okay. in the same style as most of the painting, so I can't say for sure if the face is authentic or not. It might be someone who looks similar, so I'd be cautious. Okay, and then the crown? What are your thoughts about the crown? Well, I don't think anyone's certain what Vitotis' crown looked like. But considering we're searching for one, I'd assume it's a real thing. I would have expected more clever designs, but... Really? They seem to come in all okay. shapes and sizes. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the seal because I think that's not right. Huh. Mm. The symbol, I, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. We have. We actually have seen that symbol before. 
In fact, I think it is in the manuscript. Wait, no, list of chancellors. Maybe let's stick with list of chancellors. It's this symbol. So this might be him. It could be this guy. Yeah, it's either one of those two. Okay. The face so, doesn't look anything like the painting. It could be this guy, maybe. The face doesn't look anything like the painting. So it's either one of these two, because that's the seal. So maybe the face? Well, whoever painted oh! his face knew that someone could recognize this person. It's him! Hmm. It's Leonas. What else? I think we've uncovered everything. I agree. We need to figure Sapiga. out who that guy is. Well, thanks, Dana. You were a huge help. All right. Good luck, you two. Let me know how it went. Bye. Because that's... That's, uh... Yeah, let's, um... I think it's the same guy from the painting. Launa Sapiega. I think you're right. Launa. So as far as we know, he might be the last person to have the crown. Mm-hmm. And if the text is correct, he must have hidden it in a pagan temple. Hmm. But they're all destroyed by now. Likely some church was built on top of its ruins. Is mm -hmm. it possible that such a church could still hide the crown? Well, I guess it's not impossible. Hmm. We found the true face of the Pinton. Okay, so I think uh, I got a new note. What have I got here? I those? don't think so. Okay. A pagan temple in Sapiego Palace territory. Could this be it? I should talk to yours about this. There we go. Uh, hold on, wait. I don't think okay. so. I don't... Okay, 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 okay. Let's talk to Yoris then. I was just trying to be... I was just trying to be out... Be helpful. Yoris, I have a theory. Uh-huh. A game theory! A temple near Sapiega Palace. I don't think there are any pagan temples there, but I think there's a church. Many churches were built on top of pagan temples, right? If the crown wasn't moved, my best bet would be it's somewhere there. You might be right. However, we still need the third seal. Yep. Grandpa gave me the key from St. Catherine's. He was after the seal, so he got a job there as a night guard. Nice. Oh, that's right. Ready to go? Um... Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. St. Catherine and St. Catherine of Alexandria. Yeah, is she your painter saint? Nice. I don't know if that is the case. All right, the last seal should be in there. Yep, let's get inside. Breaking into a church. Feeling like a like a true adventurer. And, not gonna lie, a little bit like a criminal. I mean, technically, we're not breaking in. Breaking in. We ah, keys, I wrote so this. You know, we're just visiting. Is that what you're going to tell the judge? Just visiting? Don't worry. We're doing this for the greater good. The greater good. Oh now you sound 14 holy good. helpers? Oh, okay, man. Stop. You're, you're making me taking, nervous. Me, taking time back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go. Taking my time back. To the mine entrance. What do you want? Ah, oh, it's you. It's night. Is renovation closed? Did, Did you, you hear about reverse, reverse psychology? psychology? No, you're not allowed in church. Mm, but I wouldn't want to go inside even if you insisted. Good. I really don't want to go inside. Okay. <gasps> okay, as in you want me to go inside? No. Oh, come on. I just. Yes! Out! Out! I call police. Oh, chill. Fine, fine, fine. I'm going. Is that St. Catherine too? Mm, okay. Interesting. Learning. Okay, there is a side entrance. That's. Is she also there? Me. Oh, that's. Okay, 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 okay. I understand now. I was like, cool. Didn't know you were religious, but cool. Hi, can I, um... I see it close. Yes, yes. Ah. Okay, fine. All right, let's talk to Yoris, because I... She's, she's everywhere. I can't shake this lady. She also happens to be the patron saint protecting against sudden death, which well, is why is it why I chose well. her. It what just works do? out in your favor. Okay, here's the plan. Uh, okay, 
you You'll talking? go talk to her at the front door. What should I say? Uh, don't tell her a joke. Uh, ask for directions. Ask for directions to somewhere. Right. Okay. Then I'll go to the other door and sneak in with the key. Alrighty then. Let's do this. She can't see me just hanging out there. Good evening, madame. Ah, do you know how to get to the library? At this time? Huh, um, yeah. Library, very far. That's okay, I just need directions. Mm. Okay, first, go straight. Straight, got it. It seems Can I... to be working. I better be quick. Yeah, go yeah. Go straight. Uh -huh. Move. Move it. Left. Got Nilda. it. Cross the street. Yes. Turn right. Mm-hmm. Past big building. And then? It's locked. Right. Ma'am, you okay. had key. A hundred meters. Right. Door unlocked. Okay. Broom lady distracted. Right. Last seal. Here I come. Go straight. Finally. Thank goodness. Now I just bro. need to figure out where that last seal is. Well, um, we've got three statues of the saint, and they have the thing that looks like that right there. So let's move on, schmove on. It's a statue of a bishop. It's a statue of a bishop. Okay. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, right, right, right. Everyone follows the one who knows the way. Everyone follows the one who knows the way. Okay, so we have to turn them to look like this. It seems to be a map. It seems to be a... Okay. I think he's the one that knows the way. So... Not... Shh. I'm trying to... Trying to... Okay, there we go. Um... How do I... <laughs> what do you know? I can even make a statue's head turn. Okay, yep. And then... to be nope wrong way one more I think this is the one that we need have you have I eaten anything I had a granola bar a little bit ago Hey, we got a door. Let's go. All um, right. A secret passage. And then I, what did I have to do for breakfast? I had cereal for breakfast. Um, okay, cool. Let's go into the secret passage. I'm sure that lady is going to see that I went in here and follow me. I wish there was a way I could, like, close this behind me. Ooh, don't like that, Mr. Krabs. Um, hmm. There's nothing to light. Mmm, crap, okay. Wait, do I have... Don't I have, um... Do I have care something? Oh, I have kerosene. Let's go. I was like, wait a second. Okay. I won't be able to see anything if I douse the last flame. Okay. Mm. 
Nope. I can't move it. Hmm, okay. So there's... How many statues? There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. What if I do this one? I'm not going to do them all. I'm going to slide it while I'm standing here. Okay, and then I think... Let's get rid of this one. Okay. So like the kerosene. Um, yes, I can have ham sandwiches. I would be just fine with that. And then maybe the one like right in front of it. The statue looks wobbly. I should be careful. What does that mean, though? Statue of a monk holding a fiery bowl. The statue looks wobbly. I should be careful. Yeah, I read that as pot roast too for a second. I had to stop and reread it. Um. Okay, so maybe not that one. Maybe. This one? I'm kind of just guessing here. Wait a minute. No. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Okay. Is there anything in here for that? Mm-hmm. The holy light's garage uses the cross, revealing secrets that were lost. Don't get greedy for too much light. might blind you from the righteous sight. I think maybe I have done it. I think maybe I've done it. Perhaps. And I've heard that X never, ever marks the spot. The last seal... Got it. Time to sneak out and get yours. Okay. Found all the seals. Let's save. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed. Yep. Go scream. Calm down, Miss Melda. Yeah, you don't want me to squeeze you too hard, Bruh. do you? Silence. It's me talking now. Sorry, boss. You <laughs> had a good run. I'll give you that, This Melda, fool. But it is time for the professionals to take it from here. We took care of the Gorstoto seal. All we need are the other two. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I didn't quite hear you. I think she wants to give all she has to us. How convenient. Take the seals from her. Yeah, boss. You don't touch me, sir. Sir, get your hands off me. Got him. You know, Miss Milda, you and your father, you both had greed. But no vision. I, however, I will change the world. Can you even imagine how the power of persuasion... Oh my god, he's gonna monologue me to death. History? Hmm. Of course you can't. You don't even appreciate the history that is around you. This place you found, for example, it hasn't been open for over 200 years. Mm. And you just bop in here for some get-rich-quick scheme. 
Well, what? perhaps 200 years later, someone will open That's not, again. okay. You're and an idiot, find the but skeleton okay. of a young girl. Mm -hmm. Shoot her. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Shooting in a church? Oh, he shot the... Get up. We've got oh, he trapped me in there, yeah! What was that? Ah, damn kids and their fireworks, right? Huh? The library. You were saying about the library? Ouch! Hey, stop running! Uh, <sighs> now what? Ah, my pants! These girls good money, you know? Uh, he seems stuck for now. I should come up with Okay, something. cool. I gotta hurry then. Um... It said this was wobbly, maybe? This is annoying. You can run, but... Well, actually, there's no way to run. Ha! You were saying? Well, wait, wait. Did you say go straight? You no listen. I say again. Left. Right, right. Left, left! <laughs> hey, yours! Oh, Milda. Thank you, madam. My friend will help me find it. Waste time. That sucks. Well, at least I got out, though. I have to do a super puzzle. I got robbed, dude. Wait, what? Professor and his goons took all the seals and tried to shoot me. Damn it. I should have rushed inside when I heard those weird sounds. No, yeah. Glad you didn't. You could have been hurt. Yeah, but I could have, you know, sneaked behind. <laughs> Throw a brick at them. I don't know. Brick at <laughs> them, them are some low-rise jeans. Well, you right? At least you're still in one piece. What do we do now? You still got that one seal, right? Yeah. They'll be heading to Sapiega Park. Let's hurry. Maybe we can catch up with them. All right. Thank you, Let's JM. Go. It's great to see you, friend. All right. So I'm out. Well, I guess Sepiaka Park is where we gotta go. Bad memories? Oh, no. He's just flipping it. Look at his fool. Shh. Oh. Careful. There's the professor's thug. He's got one of the seals. Uh, oh. What? I didn't expect him to be so... big. Sir, come on. Yeah, he nearly crushed yeah, me. He nearly crushed me before. He did. <clears throat> just... just wanna... I just want to punch him so bad. We've got to be rational here. Look at this. Look at this man trying to stand up for my own. Um. Hmm. You go try to distract him. I'll think of something. You know what? I failed you once. I won't fail you again. What are you talking about? Uh, yours? Bruh? Hey, square face! <laughs> Joris, what are you doing? Who the hell are you, wimp? 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 Would a wimp do this? <laughs> I'm gonna break you in half, nerd. <laughs> well, I'll that be taking. Was pretty ballsy. Joris slapped the mess out of that dude. <laughs> He caught that man square across the face. Going inside. See you later. It's locked. What do you mean it's locked? Oh, wait. Um. Someone was digging here. You know what you do when you dig? Metal detector. I think there's something metal there. And what we do with that? I found something. It looks like a lock for the seal. I see. Well, then. What if I take the seal? Let me just go. Let me just go. What is this place? A whole gigantic underground. I feel like, oh, this is terrifying. This isn't normal, is it? This is terrifying, if I'm being honest. 
Your boy's scared. And swords. Oh man, that's gonna great make a great clip it's later. Yoris is scared. slapping that dude straight up across the face. I don't wanna like, go down the wrong one or anything. This one's scary. Mm. As if death itself was staring at you. Do I have anything that'll help here? You bought oranges? Hell yeah! Give me an orange, I'll peel it for you right now. Great fire. Okay, that doesn't help me because I don't really. Um, wait. Horseman, crown, tomb, sing king, maybe? That looks like a crown. Horseman, here. This way. They're fucking red. Horseman. Is there a crown anywhere? Hmm. Oh, there's more. Okay, I was like, hello? These carvings appear to be of women dancing oh, and singing. Okay. That was your reaction to yours, yeah. Crown, um what about this carving. Huh, this kinda reminds me of Zeus. If I remember correctly, that's how the Baltic god of thunder Procunus was portrayed as well. I need tomb though. I guess this one? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, tomb, I guess. Sing. We'll go this one. You're all right. And then that's gonna be the god of thunder, so a king. Perhaps, did I perhaps catch the, catch the meaning of this? I'm gonna say no. Wait, no. Hello. Hello. Hi, Durin. I did it. Oh, I hope it fits. I hope so too, because I don't have the other one. Stop. What? You again. Don't step any closer. I'm not going to let you have the crown. You are an incredible nuisance. Answer me this. Why are you here, Miss Milda? What's your real motivation to go through all this trouble? Hmm. To find out what happened to my dad. To find out what happened to my dad. Family? An interesting answer, considering yours is so torn apart. But did you ever wonder why the crown was hidden here, in an old temple behind intricate locks? Um, so no one would find it here. So no one would find it here? Perhaps partially, but not precisely. The crown, for lack of a better term, is cursed. Those sure. who wear it have to accept the consequences. Albertos Gostotos was the first to experience the curse. Which the does what? of the crown's nature, he... How do you say it? Gave it a go. His rise to power was magnificent and fast. He died without knowing that his son would be the last of a once mighty family. You're saying that the crown brings an end to the yeah, family? Is that what you're saying? It's not me who's saying it. These are the facts. Radvila the Black was smarter. Instead of wearing the crown himself, he mm. lent it to his cousin Parbor. Yeah, I she agree. She became the Queen of Poland, and through her, the Radvila family ruled over the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Okay, Tragically, and her life ended with a miscarriage. Mm. The grief stricken monarch never married again, and thus, a dynasty was ended. 
Yeah, many women... Many women died of miscarriage in medieval times. Trying to rationalize everything is natural. Especially sure when the truth is say, uncomfortable. Though. The last one, Launos Sapiega. A man with a vision who considered the people to be worth more than his lineage. So he built schools, helped the poor, and promoted religious tolerance. But once his children started dying, he had a change of heart. I guess such is the curse of a parent. No mm. matter if his children were Protestant or Catholic, no amount of prayers helped. So he turned to the old gods. Let me guess. All of his children died without an heir. Precisely. His last son mm. died alone, leaving his possessions, including the seals from his father, to the Jesuit order. The curse once created for a king had ended the lives of those who weren't worthy to become one. Okay. And you're... Cons and yeah. you consider yourself to be a worthy king? For me, family is overrated. Real value lies in the man who changes the world. I can accept the price of the curse, but can you? Let me make you an offer. You leave, and I will give you the answer to what happened to your father. I don't trust what you. What do you say to that, Miss Milder? Yeah, I don't... Tempting. But the thing is... I don't believe you. Neither your stories, nor your promises. At least I can give you credit for your integrity. <clears throat> Enough talk. I'm here to make history. What the hell is happening? Oh, the it's crowd. right there. It's mine. Don't you even think about it. I got it. Oh, well, 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 I have well. It. It's mine. Uh, I can't hold on. We're gonna fall. Pull me up, right now! I can't! I said, pull me up! Well, see ya. <laughs> I think I can reach it. Uh... Nah. You're not meant to be taken. Milda! Yours? How did you find your way here? No time for chit-chat, Milda. What's on his Let's go. shirt? Was that there before? Oh no, no, it's not. It's not. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Are you okay? I. I'm fine. I'm fine. What happened to the professor? I think he's in the annals of history now. <laughs> no, I'll explain later. Boom, 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 Where's boom. the big guy? Oh, uh, somewhere far away. His cardio wasn't all that great. <laughs> nice. How did you find me down there? Your grandpa called. Grandpa's okay. Oh. You talked to him? Yeah. He found me through your hipstagram. <laughs> yeah. What? Grandpa is following my hipstagram? That's I guess. funny. Why? You have some pictures you need to censor? Well, yes, but that's. <laughs> what did he say? This game's funny, he bro. Asked if we found the crown. <sighs> oh, I had it in my hands, Yoris. Did you see it? I didn't. But, but I'll take your word for it. The place was already weird enough without it. Oh, wish I could have. Yeah, how did he find me, though, there. with the. It's last forever, yours. Well, I mean. The maze. It could have been worse. How? I. We could have lost you. I'm gonna be nice to him. He did. He did slap the hell out of that dude for me. <laughs> To be fair, I was worried that thug would hurt you. Uh, well, uh, I mean, you know. Still. Oh, I could have been rich and famous by now. Well, you really think the crown had magical powers? No. No, all it had was just a story and those who wanted to believe in it. Well, perhaps it's for the better. Magic doesn't fit the modern times. Uh, unless you give it a scientific name. What was it? Uh, Psychotronics? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Extrasensory perception, telepathy. Right. <laughs> what other mysterious artifacts have you heard about? Really? Gotta say, Milda, I never expected you to be so adventurous. We're just gonna leave the. Okay. I'm starting to think it might be a family trait. That's cute. That's a cute way. I'm assuming that's the end. Hey, let's go! Judging a book by its cover, finished the game as a psychologist assistant. So there's three different paths. Um, I think photographer, and I don't remember the third one. 
good game. I had fun. I liked it. Uh, I'm going to obviously let the uh, the credits play because that's the respectable thing to do. Um, I think my nitpick, if I had one, would just be that, like, there's sometimes where the answer to the puzzle would be a little obvious, which isn't the nitpick. The nitpick is that, like, y if you, the player, know it, you have to make sure that Milda, the character, knows it before you attempt it. Because there were times where I was like, oh, no, this seems like a thing to do. And the game would be like, no. And you're just like, oh, wait. So I have to, like, make sure that Milda knows to do it? Okay. Um, not not every time, but there were certain times where, like, I could figure it out. But then I would think I was wrong, It just, but I wasn't wrong. I just turned out that I had to... Um, I had to figure out how to get Milda to learn it. And then that it would do it. Immersion breaking a little bit, a little bit. Uh, hats off to the voice actors. They all did a great job. Um, oh, and the priest is Denny Delk, okay. Uh, the, the librarian and the, 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 the lemonade seller are the same person. Okay, interesting, oh, interesting. Yeah, good, good game. I liked it. I think you should definitely give it a shot if you are a fan of point and click adventures. I'm so glad to do another mysteries and chill situation. So that's neat and cool and cool and neat. Um, but yeah, some of the puzzles were a little bit difficult, but just with some some time away and thinking about them, uh, I was able to kind of figure figure some stuff out. So I liked that it was difficult a little bit. Some people might be a little bit frustrated, but I don't know. Um, I also liked how how characters would hold their phone like this. They would just hold the phone like up to their face. That was funny. Um, when they were looking stuff up, it just looked like it was just like plastered like onto their hand. Amusing for sure. Thank you, Abra. I appreciate it. But yeah, that's. I mean, that's. I was, I was, you know, maybe, I mean, I was roughly an hour off from last time, so I'll probably just tack this on uh, to the to the last one. Lithuanian Council for Culture helped partially funded this, and Creative Europe Media. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let me see. Well, I'm going to let the stuff play out. Allow me to insert the screen directly into my retinas. Yeah, exactly, Abra. Exactly. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more chess themed, honestly. It obviously came together towards the end with the giant statues moving um, in certain certain directions. But um, yeah, still good. Still very good. I liked it. You're welcome for playing. It was a bit minimal. Yeah, that's probably not what they were necessarily going for, though. All right, so yeah, uh, that was Crowns of Crowns and Pawns, A Kingdom of Deceit. I really enjoyed how that game rolled out. Uh, I don't know if I would play it again just to see how the other jobs work out, but I think it's a really fun game. I think they had some really great comedy moments. The characters were pretty well developed. Um, there's some twists I didn't see coming. So all in all, I think that was a successful mysteries and chill situation. Um, this will be up on YouTube. I mean, you're watching it. Right? If you're hearing me right now, you're either watching it on stream live when it happened or you're watching it on YouTube. But uh, feel free to tune in twitch.tv slash a black sparrows where you can find me. And uh, yeah, that's that's going to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this lovely playthrough of Crowns and Pawns, the Kingdom of Deceit. Uh, more mysteries and chill to come. I'm very excited and I will see y'all another time. Goodbye, YouTube. See you later.